Hey guys, Q&A number 18, getting close to that 20 mark. So let's get after it. First question is, when is the best time to work out during the day? So in my opinion, the best time to work out during the day is when you can. Whenever you have a block of time to work out, uh, fit it in. Now, if you're talking about when is the optimal time to work out, some research shows that in the late afternoon, uh, that's when we're actually the strongest, typically uh, the strongest, and we can push the heaviest weight and therefore get the best workout. But in my opinion, I think this is just kind of nitpicking and given our society and you know how busy we are, all the things that we have going on, I think that the most beneficial thing to do is just work out when it works for you and when you can squeeze it in. Second one is, I keep hearing the term biohacking, what is it? So I have a little, I have a hard time with this word. I don't like the term biohacking. Um, basically what it means is to kind of um, trick the body, trick the body in some way. Um, the reason I don't like the term is because it kind of implies that we're smarter than our own bodies and that we can trick it into doing things uh, that we want it to do or manipulate it when really that's not the case. Um, our bodies are a lot smarter than we are. They handle, you know, I mean, the hormonal or endocrine system alone is just so complex that uh, we still don't understand it fully and all these different systems in the body. So the term biohacking, I don't really like to, to use that term. I'm not a fan. I just think that um, we either work with our physiology or against it. And so it's not really hacking our bodies, but rather just um, finding out what works and going with that. So third one, do you recommend food diaries? Uh, yes and no. For some people, they can be super beneficial. And uh, for other people, if you don't need to use a food diary, you know, why take the time and put in that work? Um, I will say that if you are going to do a food diary, there are a few really, really important important things to take into account. So one being record at the time of your meal. That's super important. If you try and, you know, at the end of the week, try and think about what you had, you know, last Tuesday for lunch, it's just, you're not going to remember. So I think that it's super important to record at the time of the meal. Um, and then that way you're going to get a, a more accurate diary and a more accurate reading. You can also add in, which is a bonus, is just kind of jot down beside each meal how you're feeling. And if you do that, you can kind of weed out some food sensitivities if you have them. So, you know, I ate A, B, and C and I felt great or I ate A, B, and C and I felt like shit. So then you can kind of narrow down what foods maybe you're tolerating really well and what foods you aren't tolerating as well. Um, another thing is I'd recommend that you do it for, you know, at least five to seven days, seven days, um, actually, no, seven days, definitely, because you want to have a weekend in there. Typically Monday to Friday or Monday to Thursday, our eating habits are, you know, a little more dialed in. So having that Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday, it's going to give you a more accurate picture of the whole week. Um, and that way your diary is going to be more accurate as well. Another, another thing you can do is actually just take the pictures of your food. Um, that's a super cool way to just look back and see, you know, your week as a whole physically, you, you look at the picture. This is what I ate. This is when I ate it, uh, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or however you set up your meals. So, um, a, a few different ways to do it, but diaries can be amazing and they kind of bring some more awareness or food awareness, uh, to your day which is awesome because a lot of the times we just kind of mindlessly eat, um, graze, snack, all that sort of stuff. So food diaries can be beneficial that way. So if you have any questions for future Q and A's, hit me up and uh, hope you got something out of this. Uh, yeah. See you guys.